But Zafar Suresh, Falak, today when your friend Shahid Siddiqui quits the RLD, what would you say to him? See, uh, as it is, see, I'm not, uh, you know that in my podcast also I said this. I have no problem where Muslims vote or they don't vote, whichever party they want to vote, they may go. But I tell, and a lot of young people are coming to me. I say, go to any political party you want to go. Go to, uh, go to Shiv Sena, go to Congress, go to Samajwadi, go to BJP. Don't remain there as a karyakarta, as a foot soldier alone. Go in that party as a decision maker. And I yes, Shahid Siddiqui Saab was at a very respectable position wherever he was. So my advice to him that wherever he goes, he should be in that decision making position only. Otherwise, I yes, I'll get a brief response from Shahid, and then I'll, I think it's only fair that I go to Zainab uh, yeah. because RLD is the party that Shahid Siddiqui has left. Shahid Saab, I didn't see you disagreeing with Zafar Saab's no, account no, of your interview with Not at all. Not at all. Modi, exactly. Right? Exactly. That's yes. that's what happened. That's what happened. And I interviewed yes. him as as a journalist, and I I I I will again interview him. Hundred times because before interviewing Narendra Modi, I had interviewed Atal Bihari Bajpayee, Adwani, all the leaders of of Vishwindu Parishad, Ashok Singhal, Daud Yal Khanna. Many people have not heard the names of those who were in the forefront of uh, the Ram Mandir movement. I interviewed every one of them and printed them. I, I interviewed Bal Thakre twice. So for me, interviewing a person is to allowing the people to to understand what he believes in as, as, a, as a democrat it's my duty to bring everybody not just interviewing people i agree with especially i love to interview people i don't agree with and that's why mm -hmm. my job as a journalist and that's where i was when i was asked by samajwadi party to to apologize i refused to apologize because as a journalist i did my job and i put mr narendra modi in the in the kadghare mein khada kiya unhe and and as Every question was about the rights, not not about Gujarat, not about development in Gujarat, not about Narendra Modi's life, but about what had happened in 2002. But, but don't you? Uh, but don't uh, you think uh, the yeah. Samajwadi Party then showed a kind of intolerance? And you know, if you yes. juxtapose it today see, with see, Akhilesh see. Yadav going to meet Mukhtar Ansari's family, वो तभी एक narrative बनता है ये word. I hate the word appeasement. Look, but look, तभी बनता है ये. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me add something. I have, I have changed parties. For the reason that I always went in a party, not as a foot soldier, as a policy maker, as an Indian, not as a Muslim. If I am, if anybody thinks, even in your program, if I am called as a Muslim, I refuse to come. I I get very annoyed because I was a professor of political science. I have been a national journalist. I have interviewed every prime minister in this country. I have been active. I, I have been in jail during emergency. I have been in jail under Tada fighting Arun Nehru on Kashmir issue. So I am not. A Muslim alone. I, I'm not a one-dimensional person. To think that every person who has a name, Muslim name, should be treated only as a Muslim. I hate that. I refuse to be allowed. To I be agree with you. To do that. I, I, therefore, I, I, therefore, therefore, yes. when when I when I uh, I'm in a party, I want to be the decision maker. Here in RLD, I was not the decision maker. Decision was taken by. I have great love and respect for Jain. I treat him as a younger brother. I have a lot of respect for him. But decision was his not mine i was i was i am the and your vice core disagreement the party. your I'm core the vice... disagreement chai saab your core disagreement it was with the bjp not not with rld my core agreement disagreement is with bjp not with the way modi ji is is campaigning today i disagree with that because all attack is on about ram mandir on muslim muslim league or Hindus being attacked or the Hindu dharam khatre mein. I mean, how long are you going to take the same narrative of Hindu khatre mein? How long? It is the third time. Talk about what you have done, what you are going to do. Don't talk about this. And doing this, I, I cannot stand that. I cannot, as I had said okay. in interview, I, I cannot look at my face in the mirror. And I wanted to remain, but I could not. And I, I decided to very humbly decline okay. and dream, okay dream uh, so what so what i'm going to do is i'm going to you said your problem is with the bjp not with the rld i'm going yes. to play out prime minister's comments this is about the congress party but the, we are not doing a you know congress versus bjp discussion but right. it's relevant to the conversation uh, where he has invoked the muslim league while talking about the congress manifesto listen in it's, and dog whistle. Come it, to it's typical dog in, whistle which he has been doing it mia musharraf 
in 2002 i remember the dog whistle muslim league is not talking about muslim league he is talking about muslims because congress is not talking about muslim league he is, he, they have few things they have mentioned where muslim, minorities may benefit so even mentioning them is a crime today this is this is extremely dangerous Okay, let's listen to what PM said and we can then open it up uh, for discussion. Uh, one minute, Shahid Siddiqui says the very reference is dog whistling politics. Is it? We'll get Zainab and Atiko Rehman to respond. Uh, but first, let's just uh, play the statement of the Prime Minister where he likened the Congress manifesto to the 1930s Muslim League. Listen it. Congress ke Goshna Patra mein wahi soch jalakti hai jo soch आजादी के आंदोलन के समय मुस्लिम लीग में थी कांग्रेस के घोषणा पत्र में पूरी तरह मुस्लिम लीग की छाप है और इस मुस्लिम लीग वाले घोषणा पत्र में जो कुछ हिस्सा बचा खुचा रह गया उसमें वामपंथी पूरी तरह हावी हो चुके हैं कुल मिलाकर कांग्रेस इसमें दूर दूर तक नहीं दिखाई देती है ऐसी कांग्रेस इक्कीसवीं सदी में भारत को आगे नहीं बढ़ा सकती Okay, uh, Zainab Sikandar, Shahin Siddiqui says that A, his problem was not with RLD, with Jayan Chaudhary, but with the BJP. And these comments, they have since been reinforced by the BJP president, J.P. Nadda, as well. These are polarizing comments. These are dog whistling comments. Even the mere mention of Muslims in the Congress manifesto has triggered this. What do you think? Are you comfortable? An ally doesn't have to agree with everything. Are you comfortable okay. with these comments? I'm glad you said that, that as allies, we don't have to agree with everything. When you get into an alliance with someone, there are points that you keep and they keep and you reach a middle ground. And there are some things that you accept, some things that you don't comment on. Now, as far as RLD is concerned, I would like to bring it into notice uh, how we are, uh, you know, when it comes to the minorities. Just day before yesterday, JNG, uh, uh, you know, uh, made a letter public, uh, you know, saying that 51% of the funds of the party which come to our Vidhayak, are MLAs in Uttar Pradesh, they have to be spent on either the SCST or, or Muslims. And in that, he gave 34% to the SCST and 16% to Muslims. So when it comes to RLD as a party, because see, why Narendra Modi ji says what he says, what is his idea behind it? What is his, uh, if you want to call it dog whistling, if you want to call it playing to the galleries, or if you want to call it, maybe he is talking about nationalism when it comes to comparing Muslim League and the Congress of that time, because those are the two things he said. You know, that is something that only a BJP spokesperson can say. But as an RLD spokesperson, I'm saying that when we entered the alliance, our agenda was very clear. RLD is a very secular party. And we, uh, Western Uttar Pradesh is heavily dominated with Jats and Muslims, and they are our basic vote bank, which is why JNG very openly has uh, tweeted this letter in which he said that I'll be giving 16% to minorities and 34% to SCSTs. Secondly, when it comes to RLD taking a decision to join the NDA, even Shahid sir would know this because he's been the vice president of our party. And I would like to point out one thing. Um, maybe Shahid sir feels that he was not uh, in a decision-making uh, role. But please remember, he was preceded by Jayanti himself in this role. When Ajit ji was alive, the vice president of the party was Jayant Chaudhary ji himself. So he, so the, the role that he had was of the, of the now president of the party. So I think that was a very significant role which he sat in. I mean, we all looked up to him and we all look up to that, uh, you know, that designation of vice president of RLD. That being said, um, when uh, RLD was joining the NDA, uh, we have two Vidhayaks, uh, uh, two MLAs uh, of the Muslim community in our party. And, you know, Bharka, I also feel very uncomfortable in always speaking about the religion of a politician because I am the last person who fits uh, the sort of the look of um, you know someone who's stereotypically Muslim, although I'm a practicing Muslim and I'm a devout Muslim and I'm very proud to be a Muslim. So um, you know I don't think that anybody who is in public life has to only cater to the community that they belong to. If I am joining politics today, I don't have to only cater to the Muslim cause. I have to cater to the cause of my party and the vision of my and party. I, and, 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 and I agree to 
on Shahid Siddiqui's point that he felt it would be a betrayal to be with an RLD that is with the BG, the NDA, you would say what? And then I want to, I, we've just lost Atiko Rehman, I'm sure he'll reconnect. I want to yes. play out a clip, clip of Zafar, uh, of Zafar, Zafar Bhai from our podcast, which is very provocative. Yes. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. Okay. Yes. But on Shahid's exit, on Shahid's exit, yes. what would you say? Yes. So I was just coming to my point. So when, uh, you know, Jayanchi had this uh, had this decision to take that we have to join the NDA, all the MLAs were called and we have two Muslim MLAs, sitting MLAs right now, and even our poor Vidayats, ex-MLAs who are from the Muslim community, were consulted. And everybody was of the same opinion that if RLD as a party has to do something in Western Uttar Pradesh, especially when it comes to infrastructural development, development for, for our farmers, you know, uh, you know, doing anything that, that will benefit the farmers, like for example, right now the call is Ganna Charso Par, which is that the fair price on sugarcane will be above 400, um, you know, and 370 or 340 is right now the price. So we want to take it above 400. So we knew that when we'll be in government, when we'll be with the NDA, we'll be able to do this more because we have already sat in opposition and done whatever we could, you know, for the people who are again the people that we work for, which are farmers. But do you, so, but do you, do you agree with the Prime Minister comparing the Congress manifesto to the Muslim League? You said as an ally, is, we don't have to agree on everything. Do you agree with, yeah, with this? But, 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 See, see, to be honest, the whole Muslim League parable to uh, Congress, I haven't even read the Congress manifesto. I personally feel maybe it is a call to nationalism. And if he was to, you know, uh, speak about it further, probably he'll say this. But I don't want to comment on it because it is it is not my business. OK, let's just get Atik or Rehman and then we'll 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 come back to uh, to all the others again. Atik, sir, please go ahead. Uh, you know, when you see the, 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 the political environment today, uh, you know, Contradictions भी है. Contradictions ये है कि शायद मोदी साहब का इंटरव्यू करते हैं बहुत साल पुराने तो उनको निकाल दिया जाता है पार्टी से. दूसरी तरफ अखिलेश यादव पे आरोप है कि आप मुक्तार अंसारी की फैमिली से मिलते हैं तो आप ये एक तरह से मुस्लिम फार राइट के साथ पॉलिटिक्स खेल रहे हैं. तीसरी तरफ मोदी जी बात कर रहे the Muslim community, unko kis se dekhte hai? Main caveat karna chahti I want to make it very clear that I make no assumptions about the Muslims of India being a monolith. I make no assumptions about the four of you being only some one-dimensional voices of Muslims. You are all complex, multi-dimensional, multi-led human beings. Being your religious identity is one part of your identity. And you all interpret it in different ways. And that is personal to you. So I just wanted to say that. Atik sir, please go yeah, ahead. But that's important what you said. And as Shai Sab also said and Zainab also said, I abhor the idea that I am expected to vote on the lines being Muslim, not on the lines that I am an Indian. I am a caretaker of the, of the constitution of India. We are the custodians of the legacy of the Indian constitution. And that's what Shai Sab and I are fighting for. And we should fight all such forces which bring in communism into politics. Now, and you are yes, saying that what is the air of elections and voting and Muslim patterns. We are being forced to think on communal lines because the BJP is pinpointing every, every gun of theirs in their arm, armors towards the Muslims. Look at the issues in the past, you know, just 20 days what they have, you know, along with the uh, CAA and all. They are targeting the Madrasas, they are targeting the Muslim minority status, they are targeting the AMU's Muslim status in the Supreme Court. Their, their spokespersons on every channel are saying that Muslims are not the minorities, they are the second largest uh, majority in India. So they are attacking the core issue of the constitutional rights of the minorities ensured in the constitution, which were in the so on what ground are we expected to vote? And then she says, and she has, you know, joined a party which is uh, allied to the BJP. I would like to ask the question that it's so easy, then to say that we are just an ally, but not being our, you know, uh, same uh, um, thinking and same uh, ideology of the. So can't you question your ally partner that what are you doing is not constitutional politics, but coming. Okay, one minute. Uh, we can't hear Atik Saab. Just let me unmute him. Uh, uh, Atik Saab, you have muted yourself at your end. Galti se. Please complete your point. So, yeah. the last point I was making is 
Zainab should ask the question to an allied partner that what you are doing is not constitutional politics, but anti-national and anti-Muslim and anti-secular. It's your responsibility, Zainab, to ask questions to your allied partners. You cannot take a middle ground and say that we are just an allied partners, but we are issues. Okay, 